hello guys uh, welcome to my channel technology ai so so in the previous session we have seen that how we can deploy our fast api project uh, using our aws serverless sam right so we have used the lambda service in it and uh, we have made our api serverless so there is another method in which we can publish our api to the ec2 instance using your docker image uh, using your fargate service right so ecr so these all the services are being used by the aws right so so today we will go walk through that how we can deploy our fast api project using your aws uh, cdk right okay so let's get started so before moving on so please subscribe to my channel so for the tech related update updates right so we have started this project as a python uh, fast api project using our poetry and docker so step by step we have put this project into the uh, dockerized we have made it a dockerized image and then we have published it using a serverless sam and now we are trying to do another technique in which we could push it into our ec2 instance right so let's get started okay so so we'll walk through your cdk so we start with getting started with the aws cdk so first we need to understand what is cdk so cdk is the cloud development kit right so it lets you to define your cloud infrastructure as a code in your supporting programming languages which could be your python which could be your node js java right okay right so basically uh, we need to have this particular library installed right so if you are trying to use the python version so in this project so i have primarily used my python right so i need to have this python library installed right okay right and the supporting languages could be your uh, typescript javascript java or c sharp okay so let's get started so before moving to the cdk so we need to install the aws cli so for that so we need to have a aws account first of all then we need to configure the aws okay so let me show you i'll directly go to the uh, terminal okay so i will say aws configure right so you can see that my access id is already been configured so by using this aws you can configure your access key you can access you can have your uh, 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 secret key and password which can be configured right okay so i am trying to i've already configured so there's no need to configure again and again so the reason why i'm telling you that that if you haven't configured so you need to configure by this aws configure before you configure you need to have the aws cli so cli installed in your local system so for installing the aws cli so you can install it by these many uh, uh, for the supporting library uh, supporting operating system we have linux we have mac os and we have windows also right so mine is main mac os system so i need to get the aws cli right so how i can get the uh, aws cli so right so i can download this uh, this thing uh, from your browser and get the package and then i can get it uh, via gui installer also right if you don't want the gui installer you can have the command line also right so in this way you can also get the uh, aws cli okay right then after that you can see which aws that what is the location of your aws cli and the aws version also right after that you can have the next steps which is your configuring your aws account right so this is the prerequisite because we are working with the command line and it will it will be a necessary uh, requirement to will start working with your cdk okay so i have already have my aws account so let me open my aws account okay so this is my aws account and uh, you can see the services and you can see lot many stuff uh, happening in your aws right so this account is already uh, i have already uh, configured the account in my command line. okay okay so now yes so for the aws cdk so you need to have these prerequisites okay so for example i already talked about aws configure then you need to install your npm 
right by using this command so this already i have installed it then you need to have your uh, particular language specific prerequisites for example you have python so you can go into the python and you can start working with your aws right okay so we'll start with this so we'll try to create a project then we will try to do the cdk in it and then we will select the language so let's get started so i have to open up my terminal so i will go into cd documents Uh, CD personal projects okay so I will say make DIR and I will name it as fast API then I would say uh, CDK target okay right then i will go into this uh, fast api then i will say cdk init app and language is equal to python okay so it will automatically create the virtual environment and then we need to just activate that virtual environment and then we can install some libraries and then it is all done okay so let's uh, open this in our visual studio code so I will open up this project okay so here it's give us the readme part so it says welcome to our CDA, CDK Python project so this project has given us some uh, folders in which we have the fast API CDK stack and then it creates a dummy project so basically it is a dummy and we wanted to build our project on the top of that so whatever we have built in the previous lecture our API our project so that will try to include in this particular project and then we'll try to upload it to git and we will see the changes okay so this is your app right and then we have the cdk json so these are all uh, libraries which are pretty much uh, available to you right so cdk aw aws cdk lib so this is the library you need to install it so i will open up my terminal and in the readme part you can say that so python minus m so virtual environment has already been created so you can see that benv is already been created i just need to activate it so source slash venv and then i will say bin slash activate okay so it was all it was already been activated because pycharm automatically detects the dot venv file and tries to activate that part right so earlier we used to activate it manually but nowadays the editors also has improved and they will try to activate for us because they know that we are trying to work on this particular environment and it needs to be activated okay now what i will do i will try to create the uh, uh, install all the libraries which are needed in your or written in your uh, requirements.txt right so i will try to install all the libraries okay right okay so we have installed the particular libraries and uh, now what we need to do we need to just copy our project so which we have done on our previous lecture right and put it here right so if you haven't watched my previous video so i would recommend so you will go through that previous video in which i have built a complete project so let me open that project for you so this is the project right so i will come copy this complete source folder and i will try to paste it here right so now we will see in this particular folder what we have we have the backend in which we have the api we have the routers we have the core we have data and this is our main file right so all the things have been included in this particular project right okay fine now what you can do is uh, you don't need the magnum part from it because we, we, we are trying to run it 
using that uh, uh, Fargate, right? Because that Magnum is used in the your uh, Lambda service, right? Now what else we need to do? We need to copy the Pi project toml and uh, toml file and poetry log file. So I will just copy and I will paste it in here. Right. Then we don't need any requirement or txt. I will delete that file because it, it will automatically take this from the uh, toml file then I also need a docker file so I will copy here and I will paste it here okay then okay so now our docker file is also ready and uh, so now what I will do I my project has been working and uh, let's try to change something in my project folder we have the uh, this thing cdk.json we have the app.py right so here I specified my stack which is taking the stack from the fast api cdk changes and this stack exists here right okay so now here I need to define my stack so this is basically I need to define my uh, elb or uh, I need to define my load balancer or your uh, ec2 instance right so here i need to make the changes so i will just completely uh, copy paste the file so i have already made that file i will just try to copy paste it okay so i have already copied this thing so i will delete this part and i will try to replace it with my file so here what we are trying to see we are trying to create a forget cluster and uh, that name is my ecs cluster and we are also trying to create a forget service and the elb right so we have also specified the directory structure that from uh, like in the ECS so I need to put that image into my this directory okay because we have already mentioned our source file and inside that it is a project which is a backend and we have the docker file and the dependencies which are listed in the poetry.log or poetry.toml file right okay so now this is your ECS service and we are trying to have the CPU and count is one ultimately you can change it right so it depends right okay so with the minimal configurations i have made this stack and uh, now right uh, i think all the necessary changes have been done so let me try to run cdk deploy so make sure your docker is uh, up and running because i faced the issue while i was trying to run it because i was not having uh, the docker uh, uh, container docker uh, running right daemon running right okay so it gave me the error so cannot import the name from this thing okay so in the app.py so we have this error so let me try to fix this error so we are trying to import from fast ei dot parquet okay so here we have defined the name as my project stack so i will say that fast api underscore stack right so i will copy it because and here i will replace it in the app dot because we have changed this name so that is why it is giving us the error okay so now i will try to run it again okay so now it says that uh, there are some IAM changes so these are the resources this is the action and it will try to create the security groups also right so ultimately so at the background we have mentioned all the things in our this file with the minimum amount of code and now it will say that it how you did do you wish to deploy the changes yes now we are trying to deploy this stack right so it is start publishing it is it is uh, building our the docker image it will try to push our docker image to the ecr and then from that it will try to put it into the ec2 instance right so now docker image is being loaded and it is trying to get all the libraries installed and whatever it is written in docker file it is trying to execute that thing right so now it is copying it it is exporting it is preparing all these things so it will take a couple of uh, seconds or minutes right so for the first time user it might take a longer duration but i'm run, i've already run it so now that layer or the image already exists so it will take a lesser amount of time right 
so now it the, the image has been pro, uh, published and now it is trying to create the cloud formation right so what is cloud formation so these many resources are trying to connect or trying to build up right so it is very convenient so you wanted to deploy your api via uh, ec2 ec2 instance and in this ec2 instance you wanted to make the security changes uh, via having your vpc you wanted to have your load balancer right so there are a couple of things which are being attached to it right and you also you wanted to push your docker image to the ecr container so this is the very convenient method in which you can do these operations in only one go by using this cdk right okay so everything is being done itself at the background and you have specified all the changes in this particular stack right so in this stack you are trying to say create a vpc create the cluster and now create the forget service and your load balancer right everything it is being done done by this particular stack right okay right so let's wait for a couple of seconds more so until it get published and now we have made our project so that project if you have not uh, gone through my earlier videos so i have clearly mentioned that how you can make a fast api project using your poetry and you wanted to make it organized and it also consists of a docker file in which i have listed all the commands and which you can run it right okay fine so this is how you can make your project up and running and you can productionize it so we are on to the last leg of our api building in which we wanted to publish this onto your aws stack right and by using your uh, not via serverless mode so by using your ec2 and your load balancer and your forget okay so i'll just mention some points in this readme so what do you need to do i will also uh, put this link so how we can create the first creating your first aws uh, forget service or the steps right then we have done cdk deploy right and also installing or updating so how you can install the aws here, right so guys if you have any doubts any questions do comment in the uh, comment sections do ping me do message me on my mail id right and i would be happy to uh, provide you with the answers right so for those who haven't seen my previous project so it is listed in my github repository so there you can easily view that uh, first api docker poetry right so i will also give this link uh, mention this link in this particular repository Okay, so let me show you our walkthrough into the AWS console. So in the AWS console, if you go to the cloud formation, so you can see live that it is currently building your resources or the services which are needed for this project, right? So it will not take a couple of uh, more minutes. So, right, so you can see that your CDK stack has been created complete, right? So here it is not getting updated. Yes, yes, it is completed, right? So now here in the outputs, you can see that it has given us the link. So this link is global, this link is public, and this link consists of uh, some load balancer, which you are trying to access, and it consists of some EC2 instance, which is connected to that load balancer, right? Okay, so if you try to click on this link, so you can get the Hello World application up and running. So we have made this hello world application it is up and running and now you can you know or you have your api productionized into your ec ec2 into the aws by using your ec2 with your forget okay so this is for me uh, okay so please subscribe to my channel for the more tech related video so in the coming lectures I will also talk about how we can uh, build a pipeline of uh, high availability data and make it available to our AWS. Okay, so thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, thank you.